cheese and pepperoni, and you cut it up, and then you want to call it watermelon pizza. Okay, you know what? Before I put you behind bars, let me serve you up some bars. Okay, uh, since you made something as disgusting as watermelon pizza, you're going to jail with no bail, so put away your visa. And for what you done did to them pepperonis, you're going to solitary confinement where it get real lonely. Next case. Some Sour Patch Kids. Are you just going to shake them up and think you done done something? You know what? Cut the others. I haven't seen enough. Okay. Before I put you behind bars, let me serve you up some bars. You must be out your mind to think that anybody wants some sour french fries. I can't even decide what I'm going mad at. What you done done or the fact that you didn't supersize. Then on top of that, you done wasted a whole bag of Sour Patch Kids. You ever been in the kitchen again? It's something I forbid. Next case. Okay, now, for some reason, this child got a real peach on her finger. Oh, and she forming it into a real finger now and doing the filing and everything. Okay, you know what? Cut the tape. I've seen enough. Okay, uh, before I put you behind bars, let me serve you up some bars. Okay, uh, I seen this video and I'm like, what the hell? I know this girl did not use a real peach for some fake fingernails. So you're going to food jail for three months because your drip is out of control. I don't know what the hell you're going to do when them fingernails start to mow. Next case. Okay, there's the apple pie cut in half with some sweet and sour sauce and then put the nuggets and the apple pie on top. Okay, you know what? I've seen enough. Okay, chef, before I put you behind bars, let me serve you up some bars. Okay, uh, from the title of this video, I knew you was bugging. You can't make no burger out of no apple pie and some nuggets. Now for that, you're going to food jail for four years, and that ain't no lie, because I don't let nobody do that to McDonald's apple pies. Next case. I don't like where this is going. Okay, there you go. A wiener with a pickle on top and some corn dog batter. Okay, cut the tape. I have seen enough. Okay, chef, before I put you behind bars, let me serve you some bars. Okay, uh, dog, corn dog's good on their own. Just plain and simple. Ain't no reason to add no pickle in the middle. Now, there should be no excuses. Whatever you say doesn't matter. You're going to food jail for six months for putting a pickle in corn dog batter. Next case. Oh, look at all them beans in that blender. Look how horrible that looks. Oh, oh, he didn't fold it into a patty. He didn't put it in flour and egg wash. And then you just go drop it in the skillet like that. Oh, look how disastrous that burger looks. Okay, cut the tape. I have seen enough. Okay, chef. Now, before I put you behind bars, let me serve you up some bars. Okay, uh, you're going to food jail for five years for this bean and burger mess. And I ain't reducing your sentence. I don't care who protests. Now, I don't know what in your mind made you think that this was going to be something good to eat. This so terrible, it'll make a vegan go back to eating meat. Next case. You go to nasty tail beans. Oh my goodness, look at that. Uh, then you got the nerd to add sauce on there. I at least thought this was a vegan recipe. Okay, and Mo B. Is that bacon? What is that? Is that? I don't even know what that is with some shattered ground beef or something. Okay, I, I can't. I, hey! Oh, you know what? Cut the tape. I can't do uh, Chef, before I put you behind bars, let me serve you some bars. Okay, uh, you going to food jail for six years for fixing pizza with beans. The nastiest thing I've seen on pizza since they added sardines. And I was done with your tail when you added them eggs. And you doing your whole sentence. I don't care how much you're being. Next case.